You and Adam and Eve have to take the stop of all of the conversation. And this was a wonderful question for us to, to have as an icebreaker, but we didn't need to get it started. So if you would stand with me for our prayer of the thing. Almighty God, thank you for the opportunity that you give to us to serve our community through Rotary. Help us to make a positive impact wherever we are. We pray for peace, we pray for wisdom and discernment as we work to make this city and this country a better place for all the people to live. We pray for our elected leaders, that you would guide and direct them, and that they would make decisions that would be best for everyone. We pray for those who are charged with protecting us. Father, I pray that you would keep them safe. We pray for their families, that you would provide peace and comfort for them too, while they are separate. Thank you for our time together here. And I pray that we seek to promote peace wherever we are. Bless our city, bless our state, and bless our nation, Father. And bless everyone here as we seek to serve others in your glory. Amen. My pleasure to be to the States. And to the Republic, which stands one nation under God, indivisible. <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Anna Marie Schell, and I have the honor of introducing our guest today. When I speak your name, would you please stand and keep standing until all of the guests have been introduced? To our audience, please hold your applause until all of the guests have been introduced. Mark Elliott, David McNamee, Alex Simmons, Alexis Simmons, Nate Pomforde, Michael Grozier, Larry Simpson, Charles Warren, Amy Randall. No, I'm the one hosting you. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see. You're the guest. Uh, this is my first time doing this. Can you do <laughs> Rick Yos and Danica Chandra. Welcome. Good afternoon. Um, this is a fun part of the program to me twice a year. Um, yeah, and so that's why we want to take a few minutes and recognize twice a year in the fall and in the spring the, the people that are transitioning the blue. So um, if I could bring up um, Anne Marie, Shell, and Jack Clayton here. Um, Anne Marie came to us in April. Um, some of the key activities that and she she's really spoke to me about were the coffee conversations, some of the social things that, that we do at night, um, that I like health and happiness. That's that's where I met you the first. And that's and that's a really nice little way to get engaged. It's a lot better than doing lunch meetings, to be honest with you, because I think it's nice to meet, talk to my people and get to know them on a personal level. Um, because no more of this time you have guys like me up here talking about Hour and no one really gets to know um, And then Jack, Jack Clayton, um, I've, I've enjoyed getting to, to meet him at, at, at the first of Thursdays, I think. And I don't know if you've been at the Health and Happiness, so I can't make all those, but um, uh, Wade Stackhouse Cold Third brought, brought Jack in. And Jack, Jack is an example of, of one, one of the people that has spent 20 plus years in Broadway already down in, down in Florida. 
He knows all there is to know about Rotary, um, but he's, he's new to Greenville. And um, uh, it's already on like the, the Veterans Support Committee. And so with, without further ado, I just I just wanted to uh, I congratulate you for making this quick jump to move, and we wish you uh, a great senior year. Okay. Okay, so next up, uh, we have a commercial. Um, sponsored by, who you just saw stand up there, Amy Randall Photographer. Um, you all know Amy as our, as our club photographer in the PR chair, but did you know that she creates the best professional headshots, not only in the other states, but in South Carolina? Um, I should know because I, I used Amy a few years ago to get my, my head shot and uh, I've aged greatly since then and a lot of you guys uh, all have too and it's probably it's probably time we, we all make an appointment with uh with Amy to get our you know pictures updated. Um but but please do keep keep in mind her, her photography group when you uh for your next corporate event or um or branding efforts. Um Okay, also speaking of Amy, though, this is on, the, on, on another note. Um, there, there's a little contest going on here. Uh, please don't forget to send Amy your photos of Rotarians in action, having fun, or voluntary, or, or both, I suppose. Um, extra credit goes to you if you uh, get our tiny rotary banner somewhere in the picture, um, and the member who sends the most high quality designs. Gets a free headshot special, which is worth several Okay, uh, I know some other member news. It's Scott Powell here today. I don't know if I saw him. Thanks. Okay, so uh, Scott celebrating 30 years at Craig Calding and Davis uh, Architectural Firm. Uh, it's hard to believe 30 years for Scott. Uh, but they, I guess it's true. Um, they also are in growth mode, so they're, they're hiring. And uh, he, he wants us to uh, be on the lookout for designers, architectural designers with three to five years experience, and uh, intern architects who are just invested. Um, Tim Arthur, hopefully, he is here today. He might not be. Uh, he's doing that. No. Okay, he just, uh, he's on my Twitter committee. He's a brand new member, so I just wanted him to stand up so we could all see who he is. Um, he recently was promoted uh, as a program architect at Cisco. So congrats to him. And he's actually, he's sort of related to me, but not really. I think I, I, it's hard to explain. So I, I do feel like a little fun, fun with him. Um, and then Luke Rose uh, finally has uh, Luke here. Yeah. There he is. Well, congrats, congrats, Luke. He is newly engaged, right? Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. He, he, he said yes. I wasn't sure yet. Okay, so that means you're in uh, wedding planning mode. So everybody be a little like nice. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, thank you very much. That's that's all we have on the course. And then he said. <laughs> and we are here to um, help us remember to be self-introduced, but first of all, I have to thank you for Amy. Carrie and I had my headshots done a couple of weeks ago, and she can be magic. <laughs> she can be magic. Head on the one picture and put it on the body of the other. That Harry was saying years ago when he worked for Kenneth, um, they had a board meeting and had pictures taken. And one of the one of the board members didn't show up. So Terry had um, the same suit and tie on on two members of that. Terry had one on and one of the members too. <laughs> People probably wondered, does it happen to be a, a black man? So they really <laughs> wondered if they had the exact same one. Anyway, I'm here to um, have the distinct privilege of introducing four esteemed new members today. Notice they're wearing a red badge. And um, as Brian said, red badge is for us to recognize the new members. Take the opportunity to meet 
be angry at them. Um, a lot of them may have a conversation with them. They'll get to know some of the neighboring people. For panel playing a little bit of catch up here today and introducing new members, don't be confused. No matter what Ryan says, we need new members. In fact, we are no longer the purchase of the stock of the stock of the We've got to do something about that. Um, they're, they're up to three million strokes. So, we need to continually actively invite people to discover the free and genius and encourage them to grow. In order to do the wonderful projects that we do, they need to be done. I'd like to invite Mary um, Cordero, whose sponsor is Laura McCullough, to come up, and Tony Cordero, whose sponsor is also Laura McCullough, Benjamin Maycock, whose sponsor is Jeremy Hart, who's here with us, and B. Walters, whose sponsor is Leah Mangione, who unfortunately isn't with us, but she's in San Diego, possibly making a rotary meeting there. She was going to try. Okay, first up is Benjamin. Yep. Awesome. Hey everyone, Ben, Ben Maycock. It's great to be here. Appreciate the um, uh, warm introduction and uh, get to meet some people here. So again, my name is Ben Maycock. I own Comet Agency. We're located really close by, a couple blocks down the road. I was born in Greenwood, uh, grew up in LaGrange, Georgia, small town in Georgia. Started, uh, and then I came to the upstate to get uh, my MBA in entrepreneurship and innovation from Clemson back in 2013. Started the agency, my uh, my business, seven years ago and run the company with my wife, Ramsey. Um, so uh, we provide web design, brand design, graphic design services, uh, marketing services, uh, clients across South Carolina, North Carolina, and um, Georgia primarily. Um, so my wife and I have uh, two dogs, uh, Cosmo, a boxer Dalmatian mix, and Dax a pit mix, and then we have a pet cockatiel named Archie. Um, and so uh, just for fun, one of the things I do is I have a TikTok account for my dogs. <laughs> so I'm a crazy dog dad, really enjoy that. And I love pets. Um, so I'd like to thank Jeremy Hart uh, for being my sponsor. And uh, one of the reasons I want to join Rotary was, you know, to uh, to be more involved in the community. And it's a perfect opportunity to do that. So I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Next is Mary. I'll let her say her name. It's Mary Cordero. Um, thank you, Greenville Rotary, for welcoming me, me to your club. Um, after my husband, Anthony, and I retired last year, we moved down here in June. Um, for the last 46 years, I worked in healthcare. I did 20 years in nursing and then the last 26 in medical administration. I was very involved in the Floor Park Bellrose uh, Rotary Club, uh, serving as their vice president for the last year. They are a very small club, but we were a very active club. And I hope to bring that same energy here to Greenville. You are a very welcoming community, and I look forward to doing a lot of great things with you. So thank you. Tony? Come on up. Your husband follows. No. As you, as you, no, okay. So we, we relocated to Greenville, which is a very lovely city. With 50 years of being a private doctor, it was hard to, it was hard to leave. It was 50 years of same, same city, same hospital, and was a private practice in internal medicine and in gastroenterology. Basically, we were involved with a volunteer insight group for the hungry, which every day we increased. We, we fed the hungry from they called from soup to nuts for 20 years. And there was a lot of volunteers. And that was our passion. Our passion is to continue that here. I'm now a member of the 
project host and to serve the less fortunate people in Greenville. It's my pleasure to be a member of this beautiful group of people who are caring, who have do a lot for the, the city and the community. I thank you very much. Indeed. Good afternoon, fellow, fellow Rotarians. My name is B. Walter Smith, and I'm the Director of Community Relations and Development for the Salvation Army of Greenville, Pickens, and Oconee Counties. I am new to town, and I'm very excited to be a member of the Rotary Club of Greenville. Most of my professional career in the upstate has been devoted to fundraising for higher education institutions. Over a year ago, I pivoted my focus to raising, mon to, to raising money to our most vulnerable neighbors. The Salvation of our Army of Greenville has been serving this community for over 119 years. This Thursday, my husband, Roy Macby Smith, direct descendant of Audrey Macby, and I will celebrate 27 years of marriage. We have one son, Hunter, and he is a sophomore at the College of Charleston. This is a thrilling opportunity, and I'm very thankful to Lisa Magnioni to be my to being my Rotary sponsor. Thank you. So you just heard in 60 to 90 seconds what these members want you to know about them. And um, I encourage you to talk to them more after the meeting. They all have way longer biographies that um, I think we'll try to figure out a way to get to you because there's a whole lot more going on with all of them. So I'd like to take a quick picture here. All right. Thank you very much. Fellow Rotarians, I'm Wade Culp. So I want to pose a question to you. What do all of these projects have in common? Rebuilding homes in Puerto Rico devastated by Hurricane Maria. Installing solar power in the nation's largest Native American reservation in Colorado, where homes are completely off the electrical grid. Providing health care to refugees in Germany supplying food, water, and health care to persons caught in the fighting in Ukraine, promoting sustainable agriculture in Haiti, and even here in Greenville, South Carolina, supporting the teachers and students of Alexander Elementary. Now, if you said they were all supported by grants from the Rotary Foundation, you probably cheated and looked at the agenda. But you would also be correct. So that's what I'm here today to remind you of the importance of supporting. Last year in this club, we had a great year raising for the Rotary Foundation $63,000. I think I've got these numbers correct, but I'm looking for Beth Padgett. So she's not here, so I pretty much must be correct. But she could correct me if she were here. I think if you include the money we raised for Polio Plus, we'd be over $80,000, I think around $86,000. And in fact, since the foundation or since the start of the Rotary Foundation, this club has raised nearly $1.5 million. That's a remarkable, remarkable record. Obviously, the Rotarians in here, veteran Rotarians will know our standard is the Paul Harris Fellow. Once you support the foundation at a level of $1,000, which is over time, you're recognized as a Paul Harris Fellow. And of course, beyond that, uh, in giving at, at Levels beyond that, you can get the Paul Harris plus one, plus two, plus three, and periodically we give out those pins in our club. So be aware of those opportunities. We frequently will have matching point challenges. I have a feeling several of those will be coming up in the near future, and you'll hear from me when they get started. But when we have a matching point challenge, for example, a $500 gift will get you to that Paul Harris um, initial level of $1,000. So for every dollar, it's matched with points from our club. So we need to have a good year of foundation giving. We need to be just as strong as we were last year, if not even stronger. And if we can, I'd like to show you a very quick video uh, that's a thanks from the foundation for this year. So if I
hope you saw some of those big numbers of the millions that have been raised, even the billion that uh, total amount that's been raised. But one of those numbers was 445 district grants. Again, one of those is right here, in our district supporting Alexander Elementary, which is one of the projects of this club. And of course, also the long, ongoing work of the Warrens and others in Haiti uh, is also supported by grants from the Rotary Foundation. So think about that. Consider the Rotary Foundation for some of your charitable giving this year. Be on the lookout for those matching points challenges. They will be coming soon. And there are two easy ways to give. You can go online or you can just give a check to Jenny made out to the Rotary Foundation. That's a simple way to do it as well. So be on the lookout for matching points challenges. And our foundation banquet celebration dinner will be on December 1st right here in Greenville. So that'll be a fun opportunity for us to get together as well. Thanks, everyone. We got one more thing left to do today. We're going to do a service project. And so we're going to put together tanks. We're going to put together care bags or hygiene bags for the uh, Women's Shelter of Miracle Hill and also for the Salvation Army uh, for B. Uh, already getting involved. I also say Tony and Mary, they came out and helped us with uh, our kickoff of Kringle Holiday Village. They helped us set up in the morning of. So already engaged and we very much appreciate that. But back to the bags. Um, we need to walk out of here with 120 filled bags. And so as I count, I think there's eight tables. Every table's got to do 15 bags. Each one of them should contain these items. Now, when, uh, <clears throat> when we were talking about this, uh, my temptation as an engineer and a former plant guy, plant manager, was to have this all engineered out and really easy and Anyhow, I was told, Roger, that'll take you four hours and then they'll be done in 30 seconds. So we decided we're going to leave everything right up here for you. There is your list of items. There are bags here, I suggest, as you start, you'll pick up 15 bags for your table. You can use the bags to gather up your bulk supplies. Everything's kind of in the order you see on the list there. Uh, get it back to your tables. I need one person at each table to do a little QC and make sure all the bags are correct and then bring it back up here. I'm sure we'll overflow these boxes, but if we can get them back up here, then we'll get them out of here and off to where they need to go. So are there any questions about what we're going to, I see a question, Jenny, we have exactly 120 of everything except the band-aids and the deodorant wipes which I think there's one for every person in the free world on the on, in those boxes there. But um, just put a few of those, use your discretion, put a few of those in each one of the bags and go. Hey, y'all, can I have your attention real quick? While y'all finish up in the back, of course, it's Jane's table. You can sit down, you can stand up, but you have to be quiet for just a minute for me, please. Thank you so much. So just a couple of quick announcements. Thirsty Thursdays next week at Unity Bar Community Tap, five to eight, come whenever you want, drop in. Our next meeting is October 10th. We have uh, Jessica Sataba, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. She's the executive director of the Greenville Symphony. She'll be here to talk about what they're doing and their conductor search. And then the end of the month, we've got Dr. Keith Miller, who's the president of Greenville Tech. So with that said, let's do the, if I can get the four-way pledge on the screen for us all, please. Of the things we think, say, or do, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? Boom. I love it. 